Indian Wells champion Carlos Alcaraz kept his hopes for a sunshine double alive with a 6-3, 6-3 victory over Lorenzo Massetti to reach the Miami Open quarterfinals for the third straight year. The Spaniard needed less than 90 minutes to dispatch the 23rd seed from Italy, counting four hands and winning 18 of 22 points when he charged to the net. The Spaniard will next face 11th seed Grigo Dimitrov after the Bulgarian's career renaissance continued with a gritty three-set victory over Poland's Hubert Herkash. And Banyana Banyana hope to continue their progression under coach Des Reyes by booking a spot in the Paris Olympics starting in July. Overcoming the national team's challenge could depend on the last line of defence. Goalkeeper Kaelin Swartz has been a regular in Ellis's plans and wants it to remain that way. News from Africa's Kanyiso Tkwilani reports. Starting in goal for Banyana Banyana invites plenty of scrutiny. This has been the reality for Kaelin Swart, with fans and pundits often debating a selection ahead of Andy Letlamini in the national team's goal. This has been the reality for Kaelin Swart, with fans and pundits often debating her selection ahead of Andy Letlamini. The 29-year-old goalkeeper has had a fair share of difficult days between the sticks. Being a goalkeeper is not easy. Um, there's always going to be mistakes, but it's also how we bounce back from those mistakes. And, um, you know, I think our position is probably criticised the most. And I think if you just, you know, I continue to, you know, build myself, especially my confidence, and believe within myself that I am able to, you know, achieve and to be, you come up big for the team and save the team when I need to. So, yeah, I think it's just mental strength. Um, but, yeah, from where I started to where I am now, the growth, the growth that I've had is immense. Swart made a debut for Banyana way back in 2016. And fast forward to 2024, the shot stopper's bond with the national teammates is there for all to see in training. Swart has gained plenty of confidence from the unwavering belief and support coach Desiree Ellis has in her ability. Um, I can only thank my coaches for always, you know, instilling that confidence in me. And, yeah, I just got to keep growing. I mean, I'm not done yet, so um, it's, I'm not a full product yet. But obviously every day you just try to you work on it and try to improve as much as I can and just be the best I can be for the team. After surviving the glare of the FIFA Women's World Cup spotlight last year, she has no reason to fear any challenge that lies ahead. The JVW star can expect two busy legs against Nigeria in the upcoming Olympic qualifier. The experience that we've gained over the last couple of months, over the last year, I think is massive. Um, it's so important for us to be playing in big stadiums with hostile crowds and because obviously the oohs and the ahs from you know the way f fans are obviously not the best, but I think if we can just use that as fuel for us to you know conquer whatever happens on the field, because at the end of the day it goes down to what we are capable of doing and how badly we want it. So um, yeah, it's going to be tough. You know Nigeria's got a big following. Um, you know they pack stadiums when they play at home. So I think just. We just have to deal with the hostility that we're going to face. Banyana have been an inspiration to South Africans in difficult times, and Swart wants to help add more memorable pages to their story. Her team believes in their last line of defense more than ever, a fact which cannot be understated. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I am Hanyuso Tolani.